Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be looking at Pitcher, which is a FL Studio plugin for Auto-Tune. Really nice for vocals. I use it all the time. And I got a project open here. You can see we got our audio file right here. I have that imported with Edison. If you don't know how to do that, um, I do have a video on that if you wanna go back and see how to do Edison and import audio files that way. So we have it in our mixer track here, this mix down. I'm going to go to slot two and then select. And then all the way at the top here for me, it might be in a different spot for you, but pictures right there. All right. So we got that open. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see. It's pretty small. Okay. So we really want this to match the scale of our song here. So we're going to set this to major. C major, and you can see it automatically deselected the pitches that are not in the scale. And so this should be exactly what we need. Let's see what this sounds like. I broke a chunk of earth, trying to win my worth. How much do you I got to get Still a little bit of shakiness. We could turn down the speed a little bit more. Another thing you can do is there's this gender knob, it kind of changes the sound a little bit. Broke a chunk of earth, trying to win my worth, how much do you I got to give? Okay, we could go with that. Now let's see what it sounds like with the rest of the song. All right, sounds definitely much better. So yeah, that is how you use the Auto-Tune plugin in FL Studio, Pitcher. It's really awesome. You can do some other things too, like octaves and harmonize if you want to explore that further. But yeah, that is the basics for how to correct your pitch from an auto audio file in FL Studio. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.